goosebumps. I think we're all familiar with getting goosebumps at certain emotional responses, like watching a spooky movie or hearing bad news of a serious content. I find that happens often to me. My first recollection is when I hear the tango Jealousy, particularly played by the Boston Pops Orchestra. There's a point in there where the music rises to a crescendo and suddenly stops and rather there's a rest and it takes me back to my time at the fraternity house at medical school. When we came home from school and had dinner at a restaurant and then came back to the fraternity house, we always listened to a record or two to take off the stress of the day so we could take a nap, shower, and study. Whenever I hear it, I get a clutching feeling in my chest that I've been there and it's so wonderful. The second that I remember is when Yvette and I went to the Grand Canyon. We headed for the southern rim. It was raining heavily, so I stopped outside the gift shop and we went in there to dry off. And then we went out of the to the overhang to protect us while we watched the storm in the canyon itself. I was determined to take pictures because I know I like to take pictures in bad weather. So I walked to the south rim and started snapping pictures. I could see dark clouds swirling I could see lightning. At the same time, I could hear some thunder and the rain was coming down heavily. I snapped away, I took a cassette full of film, turned back to get in the, under the overhang, reloaded my camera and went out and took another cassette full. When I got back to Yvette, I turned to her and I was crying. There were tears running down my face. It was such a deeply emotional period. I didn't realize I was crying, but I knew I felt very deeply about it. The next time that I remember was when we attended the opera, Madame Butterfly. As we came to the end of the first act, which leads to a tremendous soprano aria, a very powerful expression of her hope and dreams that Lieutenant Pinkerton will come home to her. When the curtain fell, I found myself gripping the arms of my seat and my shoulders were so tense, I couldn't move. 
I took a moment to take a few, few deep breaths and my hands and arms and shoulders began to relax. I was one unaware of what had happened, but I've never forgotten it. The most recent and the last occurred about three nights ago. I was watching a fun movie titled Mrs. Henderson Presents. It's a light story of an English woman who was widowed and during the war, World War II didn't have much to do and she decided to open a theater, a kind of vaudeville. The lead is played by Judy Dench and her co-actor is Bob Hoskins and they fight all the way through the movie. But it was when one of her vaudeville acts was presented that one of the singers began this song, All the Things You Are, and I began to cry because that was a favorite of mine and Yvette's. We loved to dance to it. We loved to hear it. When we went to the bars in New Orleans to spend an evening of dancing and drinking, we would always ask the pianists to play all the things you are. It was sad, but it was deep and brought back happy times.